behind you. So good afternoon. And here I am, Mary Ann, surviving. And uh, this week has been a little hard to survive. Monday, I gave you an update. I'd had a really good night's sleep. I was on my way, I thought, to having a good week. But you know, after I made that video, a thought popped into my head like, I wonder if this is the lull before the storm. Well, Monday night, or Tuesday morning, about 1 o'clock in the middle of the night, I had different kinds of pain hit me. I woke up to my lymph node cancer really speaking to me, really hurting. Ear, this whole side of my face, everything seemed to be swollen and hurting. And there's a little correction, you know, you don't know much about cancer until you get there, and I still don't know as much as probably I should, but uh, I, I keep talking about my bone cancer. Well, what technically they would say I either had breast cancer or uh, lymph node cancer. It's the first cancer you get is what you call it. No matter what happens next and how many times it metastasizes, it's always called by that primary cancer. Well, I don't know which one is my primary cancer. Normally, it's the breast. But somehow in my mind, I think it might be the lymph node. Just from thinking back and different things, but I'm not sure. But anyway, then I guess I have to call it bone cancer because that's the one I really get the pain most of the time from. I don't get any pain out of my breasts, but I do the lymph nodes I am aware of, and I am aware of the, the pain from the bone cancer. So with that, that was how I began my Tuesday. Wednesday, it was just a wiped out day. And now we're at Thursday. But I would say what's happening is I've come to the end of my first bottle of the CBD oil. And since none of us are really experienced about this, it's taken us a while, and I've got two more days before the new comes. So in the meantime, I'm back on a 12-hour uh, acting morphine. Last night, I think, whereas Monday I could report my best night, last night I think it was the worst night I've had since I've come home from the ER. It was after 3 o'clock before the... I just couldn't get ahead of the pain with what... We had tried to replace it, but not quite the same, and it wasn't working, and I could not get ahead of the pain. I, I'm not sure I even got ahead when I finally went to sleep at 3. I think it may have been just exhaustion. And, uh... It, anyway, uh... I've really rested. I've had a two-hour nap. I feel a little bit better. And here I am. So that's how that is. And last Monday, I talked about the book, The Healing Foods, by James A. Duke. And he picked out 12 foods, which he said was extremely hard to get it down to only 12. Well, today, the three I'm going to talk about aren't really uh, cancer fighters, but they'll help your heart, and you've got to have heart to really do your cancer well. And uh, that's one thing, I, I do have a healthy heart now. So that's good. Anyway, the things that he mentioned were, the next three were the caffeinators. And my caffeinator is dark chocolate or the cocoa powder, and and just about, I don't know, a week ago, you saw me make the what we call the crack with the cocoa powder, cinnamon, uh, honey, 
and the uh, coconut oil makes a really good, <laughs> really good tasting treat with walnuts. The last one I made, I put wa walnuts and Brazil nuts in and the cinnamon and uh, I put the cinnamon in because it's really good helping things to uh, on your blood sugar to control your blood sh blood sugar when you and the honey oh and I don't know if I said honey but I put honey in it and the reason I do that is because honey is good for the bones I don't put a lot but I put some in and it's not heated and so therefore I'm getting a good honey along with good a good decaffeinator and, it, and then when I don't have that made up, uh, neighbor's son makes sure I have this bar and it's a dark chocolate and it's 88% uh, cocoa. So the cocoa powder is really high in this. And it's funny because when I first started eating it, I thought it was somewhat bitter. The more I eat it, I think, they must have added more sugar to it. And so I always check. And sure enough, they haven't. And there it is. And uh, so that, and that, he bought this, this bar, uh, not last Friday, but the Friday before. And so I'll get a new bar this Friday. But it takes me, I, I eat ever so, uh, just a square at a time. So that's what I do for that. Okay, the next one he talks about uh, is celery. Now, that's a surprise to me. And it, he writes in here, I have to admit that I originally included celery on this list for personal reasons, as it has helped me prevent my gout flare-ups. However, this super stock is good for a lot more, including lowering cholesterol and blood pressure and even fighting off cancer and here is how celery does it and then it explains the different compounds and whatnot that's in the celery I'm not going to tell you all the big words but this is the one probably I don't do well on oh and another thing about this it doesn't matter whether it's raw or cooked so when you put it in your your um, meat broths or your bone broths to make that broth. It's a really good addition. Okay, and uh, to get the most benefit out of your celery, you need, you need to eat four stalks a day. That's a lot of celery. So I'm not sure how well I'm going to handle that one. But it be sure and eat the leaves, the little green leaves at the top. These leaves contain even more calcium, potassium, and vitamin C. Another thing about celery is that, oh, and I think I just said that, cooked or raw, you still get benefit. But I want to add, the other day when I talked about garlic, when you cook garlic, you lose 40% of the benefit of garlic. And if you cook it a lot longer, you still lose more but not all of it. And uh, so no matter how long you cook it, there's always going to be a certain amount that you're not going to lose. But you lose big chunk when you uh, cook it. So I'd recommend putting in at very last of whatever you're cooking, just enough to get it warm, but not really cook, cook, cooked. And I've had to change because there's been times when I put it in fairly early on. So those are the three. And uh, next time we'll go over some more. But I just wanted to tell you how it is and where I'm at. And I'm looking forward to a better week next week. So 